Ah, yes, part four. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Let's get to work. So for this video, we're going to remove necessary parts in order to paint the frame with the motor in the bike. A tad lazy? Sure, but it's a race bike and it will inevitably see asphalt at speed, so we're not looking for a showroom queen. This is a man's bike. The first task for us was to spot sand any obviously rough areas with a coarse sandpaper. We opted for 120 to 150 grit. Now it's time to remove the rear wheel and swing arm to clean these areas. Make sure to remove that Snyder's of Hanover cotter pin first. Once the cotter pin is removed, the next step is to remove the axle like you would any other motorcycle, with lots of screaming and cursing. Years of sitting outside and improper maintenance made this axle a pain in the b-hole, but with some persistence it pops out like a Taco Bell turd. The swing arm is easy work, one big bolt with three small bolts for the side plates. With the swing arm out, we can start sanding the rear of the frame and the swing arm separately. Same business as the spot sanding, 120 to 150 grit, whatever gets the job done for you. I ended up having to use a wire wheel on a drill to bust through all the grime that was on the swing arm. Using our trusty carb cleaner and a rag, spray down the sanded parts to clear any dust and debris before painting. Alright, now I'm sure there are better methods out there, but this does a pretty good job if done correctly. Make sure to tuck the bag away in areas you don't want paint. The Walmart bag method is solid, no over or under spray here. At SG Moto, we use only the nectar of the gods on our projects. Painting is the easiest part. Stay 6 to 10 inches back and apply steady passes. Two coats should do it for the purpose of this project. With the painting finished, it's time to step back and check out that sweet gloss you just put down. Damn, son, where'd you find this? You'll want to leave the rest of the parts underneath a fan for faster drying. While it dries, you can go to the McDonald's down the road. It doesn't matter what you order there, nothing is gonna work. Can I have a caramel mocha whatever the fuck? <laughs> nah, machine broke. Okay, can I have a 10 piece? Nah, machine break. Then, when you're back home, your parts will be dry. Time to reassemble. Remember when McDonald's had that creepy ass clown as a mascot? Ugh. Be sure to clean all the grime off those axles that were so difficult to get out the first time. Reassembly is just as easy as disassembly. It's the opposite. Hey, uh, where the shocks mount up? Well, right there? Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, well. After fixing our mistake with the swing arm, it's as easy as bolting everything back up. That's it for this video. We opted to not put the rear wheel back on the bike and just use the center stand. It's time to place an order for some parts and get this show on the road. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment to tell us what you think. Give us a follow on Instagram and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time.